Retroscope presents A world shaped by silence, where the internet never arrived and humanity learned to grow without connection. Without an internet to bind the world, knowledge drifts slowly, carried by books, letters, and human memory. Ideas move through hands and across distances, gaining weight through the time they take to arrive. People learn to wait, to listen, and to trust the physical paths that information must follow. Every discovery feels like a small event, shaped by patience and the effort required to share it. Libraries rise as the beating heart of civilization, storing the world's wisdom inside quiet walls. And humanity grows inside a rhythm that feels heavier, calmer, and deeply physical. Communication becomes a living network of paper, voices, and machines that hum through every city. Messages travel through postal corridors, radio waves, and mechanical systems powered by human hands. Each exchange carries a sense of meaning, because every message costs time and effort to send. Workers sort letters, calibrate radios, and push information across the world with careful precision. The noise of analog life fills the air, shaping a slower but more tangible kind of connection. And global communication becomes something felt, heard, and touched instead of instantly transmitted. Science expands inside vast analog laboratories, where tape reels turn like steady mechanical hearts. Researchers build knowledge through handwritten logs, long discussions, and carefully shared experiments. Breakthroughs emerge slowly, moving across borders through journals and conferences that take months to reach. Analog instruments give every measurement a tactile presence, turning data into something you can hold. Collaboration becomes intimate, shaped by trust, distance, and shared curiosity. And discovery arrives with a sense of gravity, shaped by patience and the hands that make it real. Broadcast studios become the world's bridge, spreading news through antennas, cables, and spinning tape. Technicians guide entire nations using mixers, dials, CRT screens, and analog timing. Every frame of video is crafted with physical precision, carried by sound waves and light. Content spreads slower, but it resonates more deeply, shaped by human effort instead of algorithms. People gather around televisions, waiting for stories that arrive at their own steady pace. And the world listens to a pulse made of electricity, glass, and glowing tubes. If the internet never existed, how do you think your daily life would change, in the smallest or the biggest ways? Would the world feel calmer, or would it feel more distant and harder to navigate? Share your thought in the comments, I'm curious to hear your perspective. An economy built on paper and steel grows through physical movement, human effort, and massive analog infrastructure. Factories roar with the sound of rollers, presses, and conveyors, turning information into something you can touch. Workers become the backbone of global exchange, keeping the world connected through their own hands and routines. Transactions exist as documents, stamps, and signatures that hold real weight and meaning. Every business decision depends on time, transport, and physical storage, shaping an industry grounded in presence. And the global system moves like a giant machine, humming with friction, heat, and the pulse of human labor. Travel unfolds through maps, schedules, and conversations with strangers who carry pieces of the world in their memory. People navigate by instinct, printed guides, and the stories shared by those who walked the path before them. Stations echo with the flipping of mechanical boards, the rustle of tickets, and the rhythm of footsteps. Journeys take longer, but they become richer, shaped by the landscape, the weather, and human connection. Explorers learn patience, discovering places slowly, one decision at a time. And movement across the planet becomes a living story, carried by trains, roads, and the curiosity of travelers. Global politics shifts through radio transmissions, handwritten intelligence, and diplomatic meetings that require days of travel. Governments rely on couriers, analysts, and carefully protected archives of physical documents. The weight of a single report or map becomes immense, because every detail arrives through effort and time. Rumors and truth move at the same slow pace, leaving leaders to navigate a world of partial signals. Decisions emerge from rooms filled with maps, static-filled radios, and long shadows cast by tension. And international relations become a slow dance of patience, caution, and human interpretation. 
Scientific progress takes shape inside laboratories humming with analog machinery and handwritten notes. Researchers test theories using touch, sight, and precision tools that require immense skill. Data spreads through journals, conferences, and letters, forming a global network built on trust and persistence. Every discovery feels like an achievement carved out of time, effort, and careful documentation. Scientists collaborate in small circles, bonding over the challenges of slow communication. And knowledge grows like a hand-drawn blueprint, expanding through patient observation and human craft. Human relationships develop through handwritten letters, shared spaces, and long conversations that unfold without distraction. People invest time into understanding one another, building trust through presence instead of constant digital contact. Living rooms become gathering spaces where memories are created through touch, voice, and shared experience. Emotions travel slowly, written on paper or spoken over a phone line filled with warmth. Friendship becomes something deep, shaped by effort, patience, and honest moments. And connection turns into a story carried in hearts, not timelines. Classrooms become living ecosystems of paper, chalk, and shared curiosity. Students learn through books, diagrams, and in-person collaboration that feels warm and present. Teachers guide with projectors, handwritten notes, and careful explanations shaped by patience. Knowledge grows slowly, carried by repetition, discussion, and the weight of physical materials. Libraries, charts, and atlases become gateways to a world that must be explored with the mind not a search bar. And education turns into a human craft, built through effort, reflection, and shared discovery. Financial systems operate through the steady movement of paper, pencils, and human coordination. Traders shout bids, pass notes, and update prices manually, creating a rhythm that feels almost orchestral. Every number on the board is placed there by a hand, not an algorithm, giving markets a physical heartbeat. Money moves through ledgers, messenger routes, and sealed envelopes that carry weight and responsibility. Crashes and surges unfold more slowly, shaped by human reaction instead of instant digital swings. And the entire economy becomes a living organism powered by noise, motion, and analog precision. Hospitals rely on charts, film, and machines filled with dials, tubes, and mechanical accuracy. Doctors interpret x-rays by holding them against bright panels, trusting their eyes and experience. Nurses move through hallways carrying clipboards, checking vitals written by hand. Medical breakthroughs travel slowly, carried by conferences, journals, and personal mentorship. Healing becomes a relationship built on time, trust, and the deep presence of human care. And medicine itself feels grounded and tangible, shaped by tools that make every detail visible. Entertainment spreads through tapes, reels, and colorful VHS shelves waiting to be explored. Movies feel like treasures, discovered through browsing, recommendations, and shared excitement. Music carries warmth through vinyl and cassettes, each imperfection adding character to the sound. Communities gather in arcades, cinemas, and rental shops, building culture face-to-face. -face. Stories circulate through neighborhoods, handed from friend to friend like precious artifacts and imagination thrives without streaming, carried instead by touch, motion, and anticipation. Investigations rely on interviews, physical clues, and long hours of sorting through paper evidence. Detectives connect dots using maps, photographs, and details uncovered through patient legwork. Every break in a case comes from intuition, persistence, and careful observation. Communication flows through radios and telephones, requiring timing, coordination, and trust. Case files become heavy archives of human behavior, stored in drawers instead of drives. And justice unfolds at a human pace, shaped by method, memory, and determination. Military strategy unfolds across tables covered in printed maps, markers, and hand-drawn coordinates. Officers communicate through radios that crackle with static, turning every message into something fragile and urgent. Plans evolve slowly as new information arrives, carried by messengers, scouts, and long-distance signals. Navigation depends on compasses, charts, and human calculation instead of digital precision. 
Decisions feel heavy, shaped by tension, responsibility, and the limits of analog coordination. And warfare becomes an intricate dance of timing, intuition, and the strength of human judgment. Cities come alive with neon lights, posters, and bustling analog infrastructure. People navigate through memory, paper maps, and the advice of strangers who know the streets well. Information spreads through kiosks, bulletin boards, and broadcast towers that reach into the sky. Vehicles, signs, and public systems pulse with mechanical rhythm and warm, imperfect light. Daily life feels grounded, shaped by physical movement and face-to-face -face encounters. And urban culture grows through sound, color, and constant human presence. Quiet moments return as a central part of life, shaped by rooms filled with books, journals, and soft lamplight. People explore hobbies with patience, building skills through touch, repetition, and creativity. Art and expression grow slowly, shaped by the time it takes to make something real. Evenings stretch into peaceful hours of reflection, conversation, and personal rituals. Memories are captured on paper, in photographs, and in the warmth of shared experience and life takes on a gentler rhythm, shaped by stillness and genuine presence. Human identity evolves through local culture, regional traditions, and the stories people share face to face. The world feels larger, full of mystery, because distant places remain separated by slow communication. Communities define themselves through touch, sound, history, and lived experience. Innovation still thrives, but it grows through tools, machines, and hands instead of servers and networks. People carry their own worlds with them, shaped by what they see, hear, and personally encounter. And humanity becomes a mosaic of unique paths, glowing across a quieter, analog Earth. In a world without the internet, humanity discovers meaning through patience, presence, and the weight of real connection. Subscribe to Retroscope and explore every alternate timeline our world could have lived.